Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Nikkei video. And today we're gonna to be looking at Christmas Shopper, Winter Shopper Rupee, and seeing if she's worth pulling. And keep in mind in this review, we're not talking about her appearance at all, because I know how all of you guys are like saying like right away, I'm not pulling because of the design. But we're gonna be talking about the kit itself and is she valuable in your team? Now, she gets a plus already that she's a burst one unit. So already that's already a plus. All right. That's already, that's already being factored in my review here, guys, that she's a, a burst one instead of a burst three. There's a lot of burst threes. Eventually it'll, it'll, it'll trickle out where, you know, there's a diversity of all three types, but she is a burst one, very valuable. So let's look at her kit. Already, she has something very valuable at the first skill there. Activates when, a, when the last bullet hits the target. Affects all allies and you get a defense boost. Now this is at level 10 of course, so this will be a lot lower. But for 5 seconds you're getting quite a bit of a defense boost. She's also has a, she's also an assault rifle unit and not a sniper rifle. Or rocket launcher. So that's very good. Her VIP gift. Affects all allies. If activates when an, any ally uses burst skills. You'll be able to get a defense boost, stacks up to four times, and lasts for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is actually quite a while. That's actually quite nice. And then affects all allies, activates one caster research, max stacks, so you have to stack this four times, or five times, I'm not really exactly sure if it's like five, four or five times, whatever. Uh, and at the end of the full burst, you'll be able to fill up your burst gauge, gauge, loading speed, and then about that amount of seconds, or 7.9 for five seconds pretty good i mean you have, you have to stack up for a little while but it's still pretty good so both of these skills are already very nice at supporting support skills are very nice you don't really like to see like there's a lot of older ssrs already like i call them older the game isn't that old yet but there's a lot of ssrs out there that are very selfish and don't really do anything so already off to a good start, both of these abilities are very valuable in their own way. Of course, they're not top tier or anything, but they are very valuable. Especially if you have a healer on your team, because um, you're going to be liking the next ability, which is a burst skill, Shopaholic Date. So she has a taunt. I'm pretty sure taunt is now fixed. I didn't look at all the patch notes, but I'm assuming that taunt is fixed now and everything. If it's not, it'll be fixed in the future eventually. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would be fixed because this is a new unit and, you know, everything. So... Five seconds for taunt, pretty good. Oh, it taunts all enemies, so that's very good. Five seconds, and also you recover. F well, this is at max. So mag remember, this is a, this is max level, so it's gonna be a lot less. But amount of H amount of attack damage is HP for over ten seconds. That's actually quite a long time. And affects all allies. You'll be able to do some higher reload speed. And re-enter burst skill stage one. So how it works? And I think I'm gonna show it in a video. But how it basically works, how it basically works is you activate her burst one. It'll activate, you're actually gonna go through burst one yet again. So if you have two burst ones, I think that's the proper ratio if you're gonna be using her. So you'll be able to go to another burst one and then use your regular burst one. Mine uh, would be Pepper. And then you can go to burst two and burst three. So that's actually very good. It's actually a very good combination. Um, for that for that uh, as long as you have two burst ones um since i mean my last team had two burst twos so putting her in instead it would be fine because now you have two burst ones you can use both burst ones and since it's a burst one it won't have as high of a cooldown and since it's a burst one and not burst three you can do it you can pull it off much easier so i, th I think the proper ratio is two two burst one one burst two and two burst threes or you could do two burst twos and one burst uh, three, but I think I think two burst threes is better because of the cooldowns and stuff. So, yep, I think I think she's very good, and just this ability here does some attack damage as well. So it's pretty good. I think I think overall, she's actually quite good. You know, of course, not to mention all the you know design things. We remember we're not talking about the design here. We're trying to be non-biased. We're trying to be down the middle with the character themselves and not the design. Um, you guys already know that I don't like the censorship and everything like that, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the kit itself and the kit is very nice. I think I think the kit is very valuable. If you are someone who is new and don't doesn't have a lot of SSRs, this might be one, one that you wouldn't want to go to. 
the negative side is that she's limited time only unit so she won't appear it probably for a very long time and if you're a free to play player which i'm sure most of you guys are that means you got to invest quite a bit to get you know more stars on, on more more limit breaks and things like that so it is it is tough i think she's very valuable for but if you're a free to play player it's a, it's tough it's a tough sell you could try your chance you know maybe do a few pulls if you get her if you get at least one it'd be fine but and let me know in the let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are gonna pull based on the kit alone and not any of the controversy regarding the censorship because that's not again that's not what we're talking about in this video. Well, we did talk about it, but I mean not in that kind of context. Um, in terms of score, I think we're gonna give her a nine out of ten. I think she's very valuable. I think all the stuff that she can provide is very valuable. She has so many things in her kit that she can do taunt, heal her for herself, of course. But if you have an, if you have if you have Pepper, for example, and now you've got healing for her and healing for your whole team uh, to combine with that, because you can you can go back to verse one again, so you can do hers and Pepper's in the same rotation. So that's actually very good, very nice. She also has defense boosts. She has the reloading speed. It's a huge package, huge package, all in one kit. Very nice, very diverse, very. I don't know, just very nice. I think she earns nine out of ten there. So. With that being said, I think I'm going to show you guys how this is going to work. Okay, so as I, I was able to get her through tickets. I was very lucky. I posted my polls on my Discord. I was actually very lucky to get her through tickets. So I'm able to make the showcase here. So this is how it works. Regardless, by the way, regardless if I win or lose, I don't really care. This is only this is only to showcase her. Uh, her. So we use burst one, and now look. Now you can use your burst one again, burst two, and you can get back to your burst three. Just like nothing had changed. That's kind of how that works, guys. I think that's extremely valuable um, in its own way. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose here because this is a 48K power and I'm only at 44K, so we're probably gonna lose. I don't care. But as you can see right there, we were able to use Rupee and we are able to use Pepper again and then we already lost, whatever. It doesn't matter. I, I, I There's nothing else that I could show you guys on it because I'm stuck on chapter 13 anyways. So I don't care if I failed, but all in all, uh, she's very valuable for a team if you have the proper ratio. Of course, if you are if you're used to or only have two burst twos, and you can't do you can't fit rupee um, with an, with another burst. I mean, I, you 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 need to burst one. So I guess you would if you if you if you value your other burst two much more than rupee's kit. You know, I think rupee has quite a ver diverse kit, a very nice kit. Um, then maybe she not be not, fit, not might not fit for you, or if you only have one burst three. I think two burst threes is definitely one of the ratios you need to be having in the future because uh, the rotation it should be using one of your burst threes and then eventually you'll use the other burst three because the other one will be on cooldown so then you, you you bounce back between the two so one unfortunately one of the other ones has to be like one because we can't have six because if we had six if we had six teammates that would be we wouldn't care we just have two of each but the what the balancing is that you can only have one of one of them so I think in this rotation, I think burst two is the odd one out because I know I know if, if burst two goes down, then you don't have anything at all, but it's the same if you had only one burst three or one burst two, or even one burst one. So Pepper is obviously a very good option because you can you can use her you can basically use her burst as well as rupees. So it's very nice. Anyways guys, that's gonna be for this review. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you let me know. In the comment section down below, what do you guys think about Rupee? Is she valuable? Even as a free to play player, it might be worth picking up one. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, though. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.